classism doesn't define us. This is an incredible group of students and staff who started uh, talking about some of the scenarios and some of the circumstances in which they found themselves in the community. There's a high degree of unemployment, um, poverty, and so families are struggling, um, maybe more than uh, might be otherwise recognized. Jersey is um, a relatively small school. We have 300 students um, in the Georgina area. Uh, and it is, um, I guess, a very much of a, a family school, one would call it. Um, a lot of students uh, talk about a sense of belonging and a sense of feeling that they are a part of the school and the community. We looked at the inequity in our school and tried to find where we could go right and how we could find solutions to our problems. We did that by fundraising, get, trying to get grants, and try to overall improve our education here at Jersey Public School. Classism is important to this group and I because we don't like stigma. We don't like stereotypes. We fight for the right of students and our future. There's a lot of stereotypes and a lot of labels and um, a lot of different words revolving around like privilege. You kind of just strip those stereotypes and look deeper because it's not always what it looks like. In this room today and what we've been really learning and trying to work on to help everyone in this school system, we wanted to make equity clear through campaigns, advertisements, in-school posters. They're embarking on a poster series right now to bring awareness to classism. So classism being um, discrimination against uh, individuals for their low income status. It can mean different things in different cultures, um, but essentially depending on how much you own, how much what you wear, those kinds of things determine your value and your worth. So experiencing poverty in a world that still doesn't really understand what that is and the discrimination that goes along with it is a real thing, but it's commonplace. So they recognize now how things become normalized that just really aren't that okay. The part that stands out for me the most is how much the school has grown in the past two years. I feel that you need to advocate for some kids that face classism and it's not really fair to them because they can't really help their circumstances in their life. I'm most proud of the fact that we're actually getting somewhere and we're actually doing something. I definitely want people to think that we want to stop this, we want to make it better for everyone and we don't want people to like be like oh well he looks like this or she looks like this so it's very powerful being in this group and it's very nice. <laughs> I just enjoyed like seeing our progress like we started off in a little group really in the office thinking of different ideas and stuff that revolves around our school and stuff that we can improve and it's just it's gone so far. We looked at EQAO stats, we looked at um, economic status and we've done a lot of work. Showing other school districts and schools that even though the change might be big or small it's possible.